you know, we're right down the road from Robbins Air Force Base, and some people who are watching this might not, might not recognize Georgia has nine major military installations. Nine military installations. And you know what the men and women, their families want? That work at those installations and serve on those installations more than anything. They want peace. And peace comes through strength. And let me tell you something. I want a president that my enemies are afraid of. And I don't care if you're a liberal, you want a president that your enemies are afraid of too. You just aren't smart enough to know it yet. Now, I want to remind you, when Donald Trump was president of the United States, something happened that people said couldn't happen. And we got to watch as leaders from the Middle East and around the world came to the White House, your White House, my White House, America's White House, and our president, Donald J. Trump, and we signed the Abraham Accords. And nobody else, nobody else but Donald Trump could have gotten that done. What do we have in the Middle East today? We have chaos. We have chaos. Peace through strength from men like Donald Trump that we're blessed to have. And we have chaos from people like Kamala who can't decide who the enemy is and who the friend is. Well, let me tell you, Israel is our friend and Hamas is our enemy. It's not that hard, Kamala. And the indecisiveness leads to chaos, and chaos leads to terror, and terror leads to death. It's chaos over there. It's chaos over here. Look at what she, what she did at our border. You couldn't mess the border up that bad unless you tried to. I call it borders by Kamala. Borders by Kamala. Trump fixed it. She did exactly what she wanted to with it. She designed it exactly the way it is, and now she's come out and said she's for a border wall. Well, now she spent her whole career saying she was opposed to it, and I'm just wondering, was she lying then, or is she lying now? Let me, let me just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just America that's counting on us to elect Donald Trump. It's the whole world. The world depends on us for national security. We need a decisive leader in the White House who knows who our friends are and who our enemies aren't. And he, he, we need a White House that our friends respect and our enemies fear. And Donald Trump delivered that before, and he'll deliver it again. And I'm just telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to vote Trump one more time. God bless you.